be able to select and use and copy and cut and paste and manipulate text any way you want to anywhere on an Android screen uh, on a phone without having to put in any extra software. This is how you do it. There are two things that are already built into Android, and that is screen capture, and the other one is a thing called Google Glass. By using the combination of the two of those, you're able to do what I just said. For example, let's say we go into something like Facebook, right? And um, this is Facebook on a website on a phone. And normally, you can select text, but you'll see I'm pressing on there and I can't select that text at all, right? So I want to be able to use that text and I want to be able to use that in a, an email, whatever, okay? I can't do it because it won't allow you to select it. A lot of apps don't allow you to select text. However, all you need to do is bring up the screen, swipe down from the top, which I've done, uh, I'm doing now, I swipe down a second time, and there's a thing called screen capture in uh, Android 13. Uh, in earlier versions, uh, earlier 12s and that, it could have it as well. And you can have it as a, a quick way of, uh, of this is on a, um, on a quick way of getting it, right? So I go into screen capture, right? I say I want to do a, ret there's different ways of doing it, rectangular screen capture. If you haven't got this function, it doesn't matter. I'll show you another way doing screen capture later on. So I drag that over the text I want, okay? For example, let's say I want that and also that logo. Okay. Then all I do is simply say, save it. It's saved, right? It also comes up and says I can share it. I don't want to share it because I don't need to. The next thing I'm going to do is go and use Google Glass. Now, Google Glass is usually an icon that looks like this, right? It's quite often on the uh, on the um, uh, Google um, app or in a Google, um, what's it called? Um, a, um, uh, a widget. All right, that's on there. So if I touch that, it brings up the Google Glass screen. It looks something like that, but it shows the last thing I just copied. And you'll notice if I then touch the last thing that I copied uh, for the screen capture, uh, it actually hides the text. Then if I go down the bottom and touch select text and then select all, then I can select on copy, which I've copied it. And then if I switch to another application, it will actually, uh, and now I'm going to switch to an application where I want to paste it into, which is, in this case, uh, email. Go to sample, I'm going over here now, and uh, I go to, for example, email, all right? Uh, compose a message, all right? Uh, touch it there, all right? And paste. There we are. That's that text that I wasn't able to copy and paste is now being copied and pasted. That was selecting text that otherwise couldn't be selected and which is normally at editable text and pasting it somewhere else. Well, let's say you want to select some text that is not normally selectable. In other words, it's just a, a menu, it's something like that on the screen. So let's go into something. For example, I'll go across here. Uh, I'll go into settings. Okay. Uh, let's say Bluetooth and devices, okay? Let's say I want all that text on that screen or some of that text, it doesn't really matter. Now, I'm not able to select that. If I put my finger on there, do that, drag on it, I'm not able to select it. But if I do exactly the same thing as I did before, which is use the um, screen capture, uh, I'll do a rectangular screenshot, right? This time I'll do exactly the whole lot, okay? Right, and, and I could do part of it, or I've done the whole lot, just to save it, okay? And then, once again, go into um, Google Glass. When in Google Glass, uh, it shows the last used, the last thing I just captured with the screen capture. And then, once again, I can go in, say I want to select the text, from selecting, after I select the, t the text, I can say select all, and then also say I wanna copy the text. And after I've copied the text, I can then use it to paste into something else, which I'm about to do now. Location, uh, which is in this particular case, um, once again, 
email, all right, uh, compose a message, all right, put the thing there and post it. And there we are. That's just a menu. That's a menu th item, not not a text that's normally typed in or anything like that. That's a menu item that I have cut and pasted. All right, taking it one step further again. So let's say there's a picture, and in that picture it's got some text. I don't want to convert that text. For example, this one here. All right, it's got Westgarth Grade One B. I actually want that as text. I could probably type that in, but let's say there's a whole lot of handwriting that someone's done. Once again, I can do the same thing. All right, go down, all right, to a screen capture, select, I want to do a rectangular one. All right, put that there. Put that there. Okay, so save it. Okay, it's saved. All right, go to Google. Go to Google Glass. Once again, call up the last thing that I just saved under the screen capture. Touch it. Converts it to text, even though it is handwriting. Right. Copy. Select it all. Copy it. And then um, email again. All right. Go down a few lines, and there it is. Um, Westgarth Grade 1B 1960. That was handwritten text that was on a photo, it was on a screen, and I was able to paste it into something else. That's all being done by two things, which is screen capture and Google Glass. Uh, you don't have that automatic function like I have on uh, Android 13 to do a screen capture. There are multiple ways of doing screen capture. If you've got one of the older versions of Android, simple way of doing a screen capture is to obviously press the power on off button and the volume down. I'll try doing it here and see if it works. There we are. Just did a screen capture. All right. Okay. It's done a screen capture of that particular screen. If I once again then go to Google Glass, and when you go to Google Glass, it'll probably show you as the first picture on the top left hand side there, the last thing you did a screen capture of, which I've touched that. Now I open that up and automatically it uh, selects all the text. I can tell it to do text. And then uh, I want to select all the text. I could select portions of it only if necessary. All right. And then uh, I could even translate it if I wanted to. There's a translate button there. I go into something else like an email, all right, create a new email, compose the email, press that, well, another way of doing it, press that, and let's put all the st uh, stations written in German <laughs> uh, for um, that there. So that's another way, as I said, uh, it's simply doing, and I can do that same thing again, matter of interest. Do again, do a screen capture of that. <laughs> so you can do a screen capture of a screen capture. All right, so you've, uh, that's go, uh, if you could want to do a screen capture and you haven't got that function, uh, look up how to do screen captures on your particular mobile phone. And the usual way is the on off button and volume down on your, on uh, at the same time, do a screen capture.